Hello everyone, in this video we're gonna talk about how to find arc measures of circles. So let's talk about some definitions. So these four definitions that we're gonna look at pertain to um, this circle at the bottom of our screen. Okay, so a central angle we've got in this navy blue color. So if you notice on our circle at the bottom, the center point of our circle is A, and we have angle BAC in this navy blue color, so that is our central angle. And the central angle is just an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. Next, we're gonna talk about a minor arc. So the minor arc here is in white. It says the minor arc is just the point on a circle that lie in the interior of the central angle when the central angle is less than 180 degrees, okay? So here we have BC um, would be our minor arc, and we denote our minor arc with an arc over the two letters or the two endpoints. And for a minor arc, it's just two letters, okay? And next in black, we have the major arc. So the major arc is just the points on a circle that do not lie on the minor arc. So if we have our minor arc in white, the remaining portion of our circle is in black, and that would be our major arc. And so we denote a major arc with three letters, B, D, C, and we put our arc over the top. And our last definition here, it's not explicitly um, on our circle here at the bottom, but just the idea of a semicircle um, is an arc with endpoints on the diameter. So if we were to draw a diameter here, diameter we know it has endpoints on the circle and it goes to the center, then we could say our, our semicircle would be there and also right here, okay? All right, so let's talk about arc measures. The minor arc is pretty simple. It's just the measure of its central angle. So here in this case with this diagram, we've got our central angle with a measure of 80 degrees. So our minor arc BC would also just be 80 degrees. Now for the major arc, it's the, if we think about the entire circle, um, it's gonna have a measure of 360 degrees. So to find our major arc, we can just subtract the related minor arc from 360 degrees, and that'll give us our major arc. So in this diagram here, we said that our minor arc was 80 degrees. So to find our major arc, which is BDC, we would say 360 minus 80 degrees, and that would give us 280 degrees for our major arc. And then lastly, the semicircle is just half of a circle, so it's 180 degrees, okay? So example one, uh, we're gonna find three arc measures here. So the first one just says find the measure of arc DC. So DC is right here, and that is a minor arc whose central angle is 70 degrees, so it will also be a 70 degree arc, okay? And now we're gonna find the measure of arc major arc BCD, so BCD. All right, and so this is um, taking into account this arc right here, which is half of a circle, so that's 180. So we're gonna say 180 plus our 70 degree angle right here. So we will get 250 degrees. And our last one is the major arc BDC. So BDC, if we erase these here, we would be going this way. And that is a semicircle, so that would be 180 degrees. In our last example, uh, we're gonna find the measure of minor arc CE, so that would be right here. Well, notice we have this right angle box, so that means this is 90 degrees. So we can just add these two together, 90 plus 35, and we get 125 degrees for our entire minor arc there, okay? And the next one, the measure of major arc DBC, so DBC. Um, so if we notice, we had this 90 degree angle right here. So we could take 360, which would be our entire circle, and subtract 90 degrees to get a minor arc, or excuse me, a major arc measure of 270 degrees. And lastly, we're gonna find the measure of major arc BDE. So BDE. And so for this one, we can take, okay, we had 90 degrees here. That means this one's also 90 degrees. And so now we can add 90 plus 90 plus our 35 degrees, and that's gonna give us 215 degrees, okay? And that is how you find arc measures of circles.